that is today's topic. Making your monsters scary. Well, if you've played a fantasy game, or a Cthulhu game, if you want a science fiction game, you've come across something bizarre and unworldly and unusual, but probably not terribly scary. It's, you know, the GM will say you face, I don't know, the owlbear. Owlbear is. Word owlbear isn't scary. It doesn't scare me. It doesn't scare you. It hasn't scared anyone since the 70s. However you describe, crashing through the trees comes a huge bulk of a beast covered in feathers and fur, its massive beak still dripping with gore from its last victim. Its feet are covered in massive talons. As it comes up, it roars, defies you, stands to a full height of nine feet on its hind legs and then charges towards you. Now that is a much more scary monster. Still an albier. It's still got it's what three hit dice? I don't know what they have these days. Not still probably hitting like maces and bashing around some, but it's a much scarier description. And while the players may have matched all the names to all the stats, stat blocks, and the mysteries, they probably haven't paid too much attention to the descriptions. They might have an idea what a troll looks like or. A Zorn, Zorn fairly weird. Or a Baiki. Or some strange alien monster. They have some idea, but they haven't had it described to them. They haven't described how it matches up to their pitiful six foot frame. You know, you describe this bear that can stand up and be nine foot tall. And can probably pound you into the ground just by looking at you. That's a lot more scary than saying, Elbear, three hit dice. Because that's not scary. Think of the movie Alien. For that entire series of movies, which there are only two, those creatures don't even get a name. They don't get a classification. That's because names are quintessentially unscary. Once you have named something, you are starting to understand something. Once you understand something, it becomes known. A known thing isn't scary. It is just a threat, something you can deal with. But the alien is never named. Or we give a call, or they have a call it as the alien. Or the xenomorph, which means the alien. They have no name. And they are scary monsters. Other things you can do with your scary monsters is make them act scary. Give them square, scary qualities in your game. If your game has some sort of fear mechanic, some way of making the characters frightened, then have every new monster that comes up to them roar at them. Monsters roar when they attack, they will make a threat display. The purpose of the threat display is to frighten things. So, if there's a potential for them to be frightened, or shaken if you're playing your Savage Worlds, or to lose sanity points if you're going in your Call of Cthulhu, then use it. And if the monster doesn't explicitly have those, then add them. Have the giant, or the troll, or the owlbear, the bikey, or the... Deep ones roar or blah blah or scream in some incomprehensible tongue and inflict those fear results on the PCs. And they may get to resist them or save against them or defend against them somehow. Or maybe they've already got themselves so blind drunk that they don't care. But the threat is still out there. Make them feel the fear. So, in summary, only describe the monsters. Don't name them. Don't say, you see, four Remorizers. Describe them. Describe their snake-like features, their raised spines, their many scuttling legs, and their massive snapping jaws, and the red hot coals which seem to be coming out of its back. That is scary. Don't name the monster. And second, give it some sort of fear attack. That's supposed to be scaring people. Scare them. Thank you. That has been William Dimitri Johnson on having frightening monsters.